the H1B guy here. And today, the H1B guy grades. November 2024, Visa Bulletin predictions versus the actual bulletin released. Find out what I got right, what I got wrong, and my final grade. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you if you haven't already to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention that H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguy.com. Today's post is brought to you by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing work authorization challenges here in the U.S.? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner Mob Squad has a solution. Join the squad. And by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. So today I'm going to grade what the H-1B guy forecasted for the November 2024 Visa Bulletin versus the actual November 2024 Visa Bulletin that was released by the U.S. Department of State. For those of you new to this channel, each month I predict employment-based preferences as it relates to the monthly visa bulletin. Once the monthly visa bulletin has been posted by the Department of State, I create a follow-up post in the form of the H-1B Guy grades to find out how I did with my predictions for the month. So let's jump right into the results for the November 2024 visa bulletin that was released on Thursday, October 10th, 2024. Starting off with final action dates for India and EB1, predicted February 1st, 2022, actual February 1st, 2022. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For India, EB2, predicted July 22nd, 2012, actual July 15th, 2012. No forward movement, my prediction was seven days over. For India, EB3, predicted November 1st, 2012, actual November 1st, 2012. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For China, EB2 predicted November 14th, 2022. Actual November 8th, 2022. No forward movement, and my prediction was six days over. For China, EB2 predicted April 8th, 2020. Actual March 22nd, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was 17 days over. For China, EB3 predicted April 22nd, 2020. Actual April 1st, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was 21 days over. For final action dates for Philippines, an EB2 predicted April 15th, 2023. Actual March 15th, 2023. No forward movement, and my prediction was 31 days over. For Philippines, EB3 other workers predicted December 1st, 2020. Actual December 1st, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For final action dates for all chargeability, EB2, predicted April 15th, 2023, actual March 15th, 2023, no forward movement, and my prediction was 31 days over. For all chargeability, EB3, predicted November 22nd, 2022, actual November 15th, 2022, no forward movement, and my prediction was 7 days over. For all chargeability, EB3, other workers, predicted December 1st, 2020, Actual, December 1st, 2020. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For all chargeability, EB4 predicted January 1st, 2021. Actual, January 1st, 2021. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. And for final action dates for Mexico, and EB4 predicted January 1st, 2021. Actual, January 1st, 2021. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. Moving on to dates filing for India and EB1 predicted April 15th, 2022. Actual April 15th, 2022. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For India, EB2 predicted January 1st, 2013. Actual January 1st, 2013. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For India, EB3 predicted June 8th, 2013. Actual June 8th, 2013. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. 
For dates filing for China in EB1 predicted January 1st, 2023. Actual January 1st, 2023. No forward movement. My prediction was correct. For China EB2 predicted October 1st, 2020. Actual October 1st, 2020. No forward movement. My prediction was correct. For China EB3 predicted December 1st, 2021. Actual November 15th, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was 381 days over. For dates filing for Philippines in EB2, predicted August 1st, 2023. Actual August 1st, 2023. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For Philippines EB3, other workers predicted May 22nd, 2021. Actual May 22nd, 2021. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For dates filing for all chargeability, EB2 predicted August 1st, 2023. Actual August 1st, 2023. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For all chargeability, EB3 predicted March 1st, 2023. Actual March 1st, 2023. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For all chargeability, EB3 other workers predicted May 22nd, 2021. Actual May 22nd, 2021. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. For all chargeability, EB4 predicted February 1st, 2021. Actual February 1st, 2021. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. And for dates filing for Mexico in EB4 predicted February 1st, 2021. Actual February 1st, 2021. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. And finally, my forecast for the Visa Bulletin release day. My three prediction dates were Wednesday, October 9th, 2024, Thursday, October 10th, 2024, and Friday, October 11th, 2024. The actual release day, Thursday, October 10th, 2024. I was correct on 19 out of 27 predictions for my forecast of the November 2024 Visa Bulletin, grading out at 70%. For employment-based preferences across EB1, EB2, EB3, and EB4, we literally saw no changes from the October Visa Bulletin. For fiscal year 2024, most of the forward movement we witnessed was typically in the first month for each quarter. If that remains consistent for fiscal year 2025, what was already a gloomy picture only gets more dark and disturbing. One thing that was noticeably absent from the November Visa Bulletin was the annual allocation report for both family and employment-based preferences. I expect we'll see that in the December Visa Bulletin, but we'll continue to monitor if and when those numbers are published. For the full post on the H-1B Guy Grades, November 2024 Visa Bulletin Predictions versus the actual bulletin released, please check out the H-1BGuy.com. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner, Mob Squad, has a solution. Since 2018, Mob Squad has helped technology professionals facing U.S. work visa-related uncertainty relocate to Canada to continue their professional growth and secure personal stability. If your H-1B visa is denied or your OPT visa is expiring, Mob Squad can help you obtain a Canadian work permit and relocate to Canada in as little as four to six weeks. So if you're a technology professional looking to build your life in North America, find out how the team at Mob Squad can help you via the link in the video description below. Join the squad. By perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video, subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.